Hello, I'm Buddy Cook, and today I wanted to talk about this. This is a French Cavalry Bugle in E-flat that I recently acquired, and as you can see, the silver on it is extremely tarnished to the point of being very black and uh, gray, blue, <laughs> all kinds of other colors other than silver. So I'm going to show you a method for cleaning this up and getting it back to being bright. What we need to have to use this method is some baking soda, some salt, and some aluminum foil. We're also going to need some hot water. Some people suggest boiling, but I've just used the hottest water that came out of the tap and our instrument. Now, as you can see, I've taken the uh, cord wrapping off, uh, pulled the tuning slide out separate, and I gave this a quick bath with a snake and got quite a lot of green and gray gunk out of it. Now you can just put the aluminum foil in the bottom and make sure you have contact between the metal that is tarnished silver and the aluminum. There needs to be contact so that the uh, electrons can move between that. Um, but another suggestion that I'm going to use is to wrap the instrument in aluminum foil. Okay, so I've gone and wrapped everything in aluminum foil. You can see I've already put the tuning slide in all wrapped up with foil. And here I have the bugle all wrapped up so that there is contact uh, between the aluminum and the silver all around. And we'll go ahead and add that into our water. And I've put some small holes into the aluminum to make sure that the water gets inside. Okay. And now we just add our salt and we will add our baking soda into the mix and give it all a bit of a stir. Okay, so now we're going to let everything sit in this water and baking soda and salt mixture uh, for a little while. Now, all that black tarnish that you get on silver is a substance called silver sulfide. The sulfurs that come, say, from the oils in your skin and, and other places react with the silver, form a new molecule, and that's what all that tarnish is. That's why it turns black. When you use a regular polish, what you're actually doing is mechanically rubbing that off to reveal the pure silver underneath. Now, over time, that means you can polish through the silver plating to the bare brass underneath, and we don't want to do that. Um, what we're doing here is setting up a chemical reaction that strips the sulfur atoms away from the silver sulfide, leave the silver in place, and we're going to create something new called aluminum sulfide. Um, essentially, we've created a battery. So that's why the two metals have to be in contact with each other, help the electrons flow. Uh, we've created a bath here that we can get the chemical reaction going. That's why it helps that it's warm and it won't work very well if it's cold. Um, and we're going to have to let this sit for a while and we will come back later and see how it worked out. Well, it's been about 10 minutes so we can take a look to see how things are progressing. Here is our tuning slide. And if we unwrap that, well, we've still got Quite a bit of tarnish on there. It's still blackened. Uh, we're starting to get a little brighter on some of it. So we can wrap this all back up with our foil and leave it in our solution and come back later. Alright, so it's been about a half an hour now. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see in the video, but if we look closely, there are tiny little bubbles that come up off of the aluminum or out from underneath it. Um, there's some in uh, kind of the top center of the image there. And that's actually some of the gas that is a byproduct of this chemical reaction. So let's open this up and take a little bit of a look at how things are coming along. Now, look back here. We've still got quite a bit of tarnish, but it's almost like the, the black is starting to look 
blacker against the silver around it where some of the spots are getting brighter. And if we come over here and look at the bell, we can, we can see that that is significantly better than it was before. Now, I had done a practice run on the bell, so that's had about an hour in this solution, and the rest of the horns only had a half an hour, so that'll give us some idea of where we're headed with this. And we'll wrap that back up, and maybe give it some more time. Okay, we've been sitting now for about an hour, so let's just open up the tuning slide that we looked at earlier, get a feel for how things are coming along. Here's the end of it. So there's still some little specks on here, maybe some really bad spots, but overall this is a bit of improvement. So we'll take this out and wipe it down with a soft cloth and see where we're at. Okay, we're back. It's been a little over an hour soaking and now we have something that looks like this. So we can see we've definitely done something. This is not perfect. There's still some tarnish and marks on here, but that is a vast improvement from the blackness that we had previously on this horn. And we also know that something has been done because if we take our piece of aluminum foil that was sitting on the bottom, I don't know how well you can tell in the video, but this thing has turned a tinted orangey brownish color instead of the original nice shiny aluminum foil silver color. Uh, and that's all of the sulfides moving off and tarnishing the aluminum instead of remaining on our silver. So we know that we've removed something and made it better. And uh, all I've done so far is take this out of the water took an old t-shirt and just dried it off real quick. I didn't even buff it very much. Um, now I have to decide. I might try some just silver polish on this horn, brighten it up a little bit more, uh, considering how badly it was tarnished to begin with. And I'll probably take it in, get the bell fixed up with all those dents. And it does feel like some of the solder isn't holding together anymore. 